You see, if you ask me how I'm doing on an average basis, I'm gonna answer how many of you will. I'm fine. I'm great. I'm good and you. But the truth, the truth is, I've been broken. Have you ever been broken? I have been broken from rape, divorce, toxic, unhealthy relationships, low self-esteem, and worse was not knowing how to love myself, which caused me to make a lot of bad choices and decisions in my life. I knew something had to change, so I worked hard to make things change. And guess what? I did it. it. Took a lot of work and a lot of time, but I did it. I thought I was okay until the unimaginable happened, the unthinkable. And I lost my daughter. She was just a child. Let's talk about the pain involved in losing a child. You see, death is hard no matter who it is. When it's someone that's older and lived a fuller life, a longer life, it's a little easier to accept. It doesn't hurt less, but it's easier to accept. But when it's a child, it knocks you down. And not just a little bit, it knocks you down a lot. She was diagnosed with viral meningitis. When I heard it, I didn't even know what that was. And I'm a mom, I should know that, but I didn't know. The doctors said that she'd be coming home Wednesday or Thursday. We'll admit her. We'll put her on some antibiotics. She'll be fine. So what happened? Why do I find myself in the hospital on Tuesday, right by my daughter, yelling out to anybody that could hear me, not even knowing if anybody was really there? Hey, is she breathing? No, is she breathing? No, 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 no. Is she breathing? The next thing I knew, her room was filled with doctors and nurses. And they started to perform CPR on this little girl. I started walking out of her room, no idea where I was going. I was lost. I had, had no idea what to do, where to go, what was even happening. When I stepped out that room, I heard a familiar voice. Judy! And I looked to my left where I heard the voice coming from. And it was my best friend as she stepped off the elevator. The next thing I knew, a neurologist approached me and told me the worst news any parent could ever hear. I'm sorry, there's nothing we could do. She's brain dead. What? What do you mean? He said there was too much swelling in her brain. There was nothing they could do. Her stem collapsed. You see, I heard him, but I could not comprehend what he was telling me. That tragedy was almost 12 years ago. And I want to share with you the three main things that have gotten me through my grief journey. Number one is God. Because when I couldn't find a way, Oh, he made a way. I never understood that peace that goes beyond understanding until I had to endure this. And he'll give you that peace too. Second was my family, friends, and community because they are there for you. They will hold you up. You see, I went through all the regular emotions, crying, mad, couldn't get out of bed, wished it was myself and they gave me time to feel that but they didn't let me stay there it's real easy to push away the people that love us that want to help us through that because we just want to seclude ourselves and just roll over and die ourselves don't push people away they have your best interests at heart and they love you the third thing that I want to leave you with is that you need to figure out your why. And what do I mean by that? Why do you still want to live? What reason do you still have? You see, I still had two other children that needed me. 
They lost a sister. They were young. What were they supposed to do? So I've always been that type of person that I sink or swim. And I've never let myself sink. I had to find a way to swim through other things. I had to find a way to swim through this. And I know that with my daughter being gone, she would not want her mom to roll over and give up. You can't either. You still have a purpose. You still have a reason to live. You see, there is life after death. It's your life and you still need to live it. <laughs> so if you or anyone that you know is struggling with their grief journey and they need coaching, I would love to connect with you. You can reach out to me at judyamber.com. Thank you.